All right, so this is gonna be a pretty short one. I'm just gonna add a, a bit of a sound effect to the voice. Um, so first of all, um, you can't you can't hear um, the the mic live um, because it would it would create sort of a feedback loop and you get just a horrible screeching sound and nobody wants that and it's not useful anyway. Um, so what we have to do, I know I've seen this somewhere. Um, you can add a preview file. Let me see. Now this is me kind of um, learning the new UI because a lot of stuff changed. Um, I don't know. Where would this be? I would assume it would be on the microphone, but maybe not. So, okay. Um, I never used that feature anyway, but uh, so we'll just do what I did last time and add an audio file. This is one that I just had for a uh, demo. Um, so you take this audio clip and it has to go into a player, I think. Yeah, and then that audio can go into some kind of effect. So I'm going to do reverb, just so it sounds like I'm in a, a giant room, because the, the whole idea is, is you're emitting god rays in this effect by opening your mouth. Um, so the audio effects are super cool, but it's it's not immediately apparent to the user that like they'll only get that if they record. So this is kind of just a bonus thing. Um, if they record a video and they have to talk in it, then uh, they'll be like, whoa. Um, so it's kind of a cool, uh, cool way to surprise people. Um, so audio, where does the audio go? Oh, audio goes into a speaker, which you have to add over here in scene graph speaker. Um, how do I, okay, audio. Yeah, okay, so you can click this little arrow to create a node, um, and then that goes into the output. And we're not hearing anything right now, maybe, oh, my volume's up. Um, because we don't have a controller. That doesn't do anything. So audio controller. I'm not seeing this. Okay, single clip controller. Connect that. And I think I wonder if these are still pulses. I know they said they were changing to booleans. Why can't I see info? What? That's frustrating. Okay, well, maybe I'll just try value and make it a boolean. And um, how do I make it true? Okay, it's just being slow. Hey, there we go. So, geez. Oh, it's. This is maddening. I can't hear myself. 
Okay, so that kind of works, but it's like super loud. Um, I'm not actually sure if you guys can hear it or not. I don't think so. Um, but anyway, the reverb effect is working. Um, I don't have a great setup for tweaking it, um, but I'm, I'm basically just gonna play around with these numbers um, until it sounds like I want it to. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just the basic rundown of how to, to use a test file um, to, to live edit all of these values. Um, and then uh, when you want to hook it up to the microphone, oops, yeah, you just drag the mic into this, and then instead of um, instead of using these guys, you just hook it up like that um, for actual production use. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this project is on GitHub. So you can download it and mess with it if you want. Um, it's also in review right now, so it should be live. Um, I'll post links and stuff in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow.